You have just completed an activity where you've thought about and composed some ideas around the words race and racism. These concepts may seem easy to define initially, but are much more complex than their definitions suggest. Let's deal with the idea of race first. The term race is a fluid concept because the meanings we attach to it change over time and are influenced by a range of historical, social, political and economic factors. Constructions of race are typically associated with ideas of ethnic or cultural superiority that may manifest as discrimination against individuals or entire groups. Extreme examples include dispossession, slavery and genocide. Racism is a global phenomenon, but there is a huge variation in the way that ideas about race are understood and played out locally and in different contexts. The ideas associated with race are connected with distinctive and unique ethnicities, cultures and histories of different places and regions. In Australia, racism is linked to the history of colonisation and migration. In Australia, interpretations of racism and the language we use to discuss race are often different from those in other parts of the world. The concept of race is contested. This means that there is no universal and agreed way of defining the idea of race. Discussions about race can often become emotional or tense as different viewpoints are presented. The complex nature of race and what it means can cause confusion and create a reluctance to talk about it. And yet there is a lot at stake and it is, in the end, essential that we bring some clarity to the ideas around race, especially in schools where students explore and form attitudes and world views. The term race is used in everyday language, in legislation and often in the media to artificially classify people on the basis of their common descent. Distinctions are often made between groups based on their assumed physical and cultural differences and sometimes used to explain behaviours. Often these distinctions are made in comparison to the dominant cultural group who are seen as the norm. Although there is no current scientific evidence to support the existence of different human races on biological grounds, we need to look at concepts about race as they occur in society, associated perspectives and views, and their impact on different groups of people. Race is a powerful social construct. Because there is a strong belief that it is real, it's an important notion to explore. Understanding the beliefs associated with race and the social consequences and disadvantage which may stem from these beliefs will help us engage in constructive conversations and address issues of racism. Before we look at the concept of racism, reflect on the words you posted on the garden wall for ideas about race. Consider whether you would change, add or remove words you posted.